On the 3rd of March, I posted this video announcing I'm going full-time on YouTube. I made an agreement with my girlfriend that I need to make 3,500 euros in gross revenue per month in order to continue my business and ultimately to continue my YouTube channel. Otherwise, I have to get a job. Since then, I have worked for, I don't know how long, but seven days a week for 10 hours a day. I cancelled the Easter trip we planned to keep on grinding, overhauled all my Final Cut Pro plugins and launched Colorful Creators with my first training session. Last but not least, I posted 14 videos on YouTube. Running the numbers during that time frame, I pulled 23,000 views, which resulted in about 90 bucks in revenue. Today, I'm filming this video outside because I don't have a studio anymore. The videos you will see here within the next two weeks or three weeks will be pre-produced. On the 13th of March, I posted a video about a slight issue with my plan. I really hated the fact that I need to treat my YouTube stuff like a business because it killed so much of my intrinsic drive. Exactly one month later, I posted this video. Since then, I have reduced my working hours a bit and started seeing some friends again. And let me tell you, that was about time. And if any of my friends or family watching, thank you for holding tight when I almost never left the studio. But was it worth it? YouTube is only one part of the equation. So let's check in with my website. In February, I made 1,900 euros, which means I needed to double my revenue in order to fulfill my goal, double, in one month. Yeah, in March, I relaunched all my Final Cut Pro plugins and made 5,600 euros. In April, I launched Colorful Creators and also made 5,600 euros. So yes, I hit my goal and <laughs> I'm here to stay. I'm filming this video outside because I will move into a new studio next week since my old place has become way too loud for filming. Yeah, it's, it's a long story. While I'm truly thankful for pulling through and being in this situation, I'm not there yet. I got an accountant and we found a new obstacle. The calculation goes as follows. I make money. From that, I pay 19% sales tax. Then I need to pay PayPal fees and website fees and whatnot. After that, we need to subtract my fixed business expenses and an amount for investments like new studio equipment. Now we get the gross profit. From that, I have to pay business tax and income tax. Then I have to pay for health insurance and at the bottom line, you can see what I can pay myself. Mind you, I didn't even save for retirement in this calculation. Let's try this with my initial goal. 3,500 euros times 12 is 42,000 euros, or let's round up to 50,000. If I make a yearly revenue of 50,000 euros, or about 4,200 euros a month, I'd operate at a 20,000 euro loss, or a 2,000 euro profit if I'm cutting all business investment expenses. But then 2,000 euros a year isn't remotely enough to cut it. This means I could pay myself 166 euros a month, which is, yeah, unreasonable. The median income where I live is about 2,000 euros a month. To hit that, I'd need a revenue of 150,000 euros per year, or 12,500 euros gross revenue per month. This is my next goal, hitting these figures as soon as possible, to be able to continue what I'm doing in a responsible and sustainable way. After all, I hope this is the last job I ever have. Over the last months, I built such a strong foundation. My plugins are the best they have ever been and I stand truly behind the value of each and every item on my website. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. All this wouldn't have been possible without you and I'm very aware of that.